there, I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and Bible journaler here on YouTube. And today I thought I'd start a little series that I'll do for the dog days of summer here in August using some images in some of the Bibles that I have that are really easy ones that you can draw in your Bible, even if you don't have this one, and give you some tips on how you might do that while I do some simple coloring. And this one, of course, is the storehouse. I chose this one for a couple reasons, of course, that it's simple. But also, as a reminder, that our churches need our support. I know in this time of pandemic, lots of people are doing online church at home and not feeling comfortable to go to church services. And other people are in trouble because they don't have their jobs anymore and they're not able to give. If you are able to give, your church needs you more than ever at this time. I just know there's, I've been seeing lots and lots of pastors leaving the pastorate to go get regular jobs because their churches can't afford to keep them. Lots of churches are laying off staff and reminder that the tithes that we can offer, whatever size that is, God can make a difference through all of it. And we need resources for the gospel to get out. So if you're able, please do keep up your tithe and offerings to your church. The other reason for choosing this one is that it's really simple. It's a big rectangle with fancy things on it. And you can choose what kind of fancy things to put on it, whatever you would like to do. I got a book called the Archid Doodle Book. It's an architect's doodle book with little assignments on here, draw this type of building, draw that type of building. And maybe that's one reason why I was attracted to this image. But I have been kind of having fun doing that, and I thought it would be fun to embellish this particular image by making bricks on it, just doing horizontal lines and then making bricks that align every other one with the one, the row that's two rows above them, and just create those bricks across the whole image. So you could make a big block with just bricks on it and then write your text on it. You can add an outline around the outside. You can make the top fancy like this. And I'm going to make the windows yellow so they look like they're. They're glowing. There's someone inside. And you can get as fancy or as not fancy as you need to with this one. Since the words are already printed on the page, I had to bring them back out because I wasn't about to sit there and color around all those tiny letters. So I did this with my white pen to bring the text out to being visible. And it wasn't super clear still, so I added a little bit of a shadow with a black pen. And when you add shadows with pens, just do like the left side and the bottom side. So anything that's horizontal or vertical gets a shadow on it. And then anything in between, like the curve on a G or the curve on an H, the bottom side of that curve gets a shadow. And then I went over the black text as well. So it's a really simple image. And it's also one that can help you to remember to continue your tithe and offering to be able to support the work of the gospel getting out because that is super important right now. Lots of people need to hear the word at this time more than anything. And our churches are one of those venues that can get that out. So that's it for today. I'll do some more of these quick images for the rest of August. I'll see you again next Sunday. I hope you have a great and safe summer and I'll see you again very soon. God bless you. Bye-bye.